What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to today's Anfield Agenda News Roundup. I have lots to go through over the next few minutes. We're going to be talking about a goalkeeper that Liverpool have been linked to, a defender we've been linked to, give you the latest on the Mohamed Salah situation, and a couple of other bits and pieces along the way, including me calling out the echo for a bit of clickbait. So we're going to go through it all over the next few minutes, my friends. Would love to know your thoughts in the comment section. Please do drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, I'm about to say something that I really didn't think I'd ever have to say. We put up a YouTube short earlier on that was a play on that guy's jokes, meme of me saying that Arne Slot will only have 7 million to spend this summer. And of course, the video was me saying 777. Seven, seven. So we thought it was a very clear joke. But if you read through the comments of it, apparently not everybody gets the reference or the joke. So just to be clear, Nobody is saying that RNA Slot is only going to have £7 million to spend in this summer transfer market. It was clearly a joke that we thought everybody would get, but apparently some people didn't. So I've got to just explain it because I don't want anybody getting confused. So let's get to today's stories then. The first one is the goalkeeper that Liverpool have been linked with. And I do like this link, to be honest with you. So apparently James Trafford of Burnley is highly rated amongst the Liverpool staff, and I don't don't blame them. He is a good goalkeeper. Uh, so if Cuevin Kelleher does indeed depart, maybe Liverpool will look towards the 21-year-old Burnley goalkeeper as an option. So I want to know, would you be happy with that? For me, yes, I would. I think Trafford would be a very good keeper to bring through. Another keeper I know that we've looked at is the Sunderland goalkeeper who we've discussed before. But on this one, James Trafford is apparently an option should Liverpool look to bring in another goalkeeper in the summer. And uh, I like that option. Uh, next one up is Liverpool will not hold an open top bus parade. That's the good news. It has been knocked on the head unless something crazy happens and we win the league. But that's the only thing that can change the situation. So David Lynch has today posted and has said Liverpool will not hold an open top bus parade through the city centre at the end of the season unless in the unlikely event we go on to win the league, which won't be happening. So... No bus parade, which I think is the right call. Uh, I understand why they had to make the announcement early in the season. They had to obviously sort out the police thing, the parade route and all this other stuff. But that's the correct decision, in my opinion. And again, we'd love to know your thoughts. Next up is the little part of the video where I said I'm going to call the echo out a little bit. So YouTubers get accused of clickbait all the time. And sometimes there's some truth to it. Sometimes we have to stand our ground. But here, we have the Echo with a headline that reads, Liverpool could sign Bruno Gamares for just £32 million after clause confirmed. Except they can't. If you go on and read the article, what it says is, anybody who wants to buy Bruno Gamares, not just Liverpool, but anybody, would have to pay the £100 million clause that's in his contract. But what they mean with the title is, it will be the first instalment of three instalments. Come on, lads. You're better than that. Come on. So there you go. That's uh, We can put that one to bread. You cannot sign Bruno Gomares for £32 million. Uh, next one up is a defender who Liverpool have been linked to. Somebody who we've spoken about on the videos here for the past three or four days probably. And that is Geertrude of Feyenoord. So Dutch football expert Marcel van der Kram believes that there's a distinct possibility that the 23-year-old will get his wish and join Liverpool with Arne Slot. He goes on to say that he thinks there's a greater than 50% chance that this gets it's done and it does make some sense now I don't know if he's good enough or not I haven't watched Feyenoord but I'm back in that if the scouts have looked done the groundwork I can understand why he's a versatile defender that can play in any fullback position central defense and even as defensive midfield if needs be so for me I've got absolutely no problem with this if the scouts have got their man fair enough keep an eye on it and I guess we'll find out soon enough if Gertrude will be joining Arne slot at Liverpool so Breaking news from David Ornstein today is we know Liverpool's priority for the summer is going to be a centre-back. That's been spoken about. But today, David Ornstein said, Liverpool are looking to sign a wide player this summer, which isn't really a surprise. We've seen the links to the likes of Elise, um, Iñaki Williams, uh, Bakayoko from PS3. We've seen plenty of them. So no surprise to me to see that Liverpool are looking to bring in another young attacker. Now, what I'd say is, 
Even if Salah stays, I still think this would be the right move because competition is always a good thing and we are kind of lacking on the right-hand side of attack if Mo isn't available. You're looking at Ben Doak, who's had a bit of an injury-ravaged campaign. Kate Gordon, who of course had a difficult time as well. So, no surprises there and I think we can probably expect that wide player to come in. Who that player is going to be, I don't know as of yet, but of course we will keep you guys up, with, uh, up to date with all the latest links. Now... Sky Sports News have said, breaking, Saudi clubs are not planning to bid for Mohamed Salah. Unless he makes it clear that he wants the move. So, I don't know how that's a breaking story. It's basically just, we don't want to have egg on our faces and go after a player who doesn't want to move. So what they're saying here basically is, Mohamed Salah would have to show some want, desire to move. And then they'd come in with the truckload of cash. So there we go. Uh, David Ornstein said, The Saudi admiration for Mohamed Salah hasn't gone away, but it's not quite as urgent and aggressive as it was last summer. If Salah is committed to Liverpool, then it's case closed. Is it though? I mean, Liverpool still have a decision to make. Do they want to let Mohamed Salah leave for free? Or will they give him a contract extension? To me, this feels like both sides are starting to lay the groundwork. Saudi don't want to look foolish again, coming after a player who's rebuffed their advances previously. Uh, they'll frame it that they want to be respectful, of course, but they just don't want to look silly if they want to come after Mo and he doesn't want to leave. Now, from Liverpool's standpoint, we do have to wait and see what happens here. There's been kind of a mixed bag over the last couple of days. Um, Salah apparently is looking for at least a one-year extension, and to be fair, I, can you give extensions shorter than that? I guess you could probably do a six-month one, but uh, if he does get an extension, again, I have no problem with that. I just don't think that he or Virgil deserve a pay rise at this point. Um, and the Salah situation, I think, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's going to be plain sailing. I think there's going to be a bit of he said, she said, and I think it's... It, can, it could end poorly, and I don't want it to. For him, for his legacy, and of course for stabilisation at the club, I want everything to be harmonious. So I'm hoping we get a resolution to this that is quick and doesn't involve a lot of he said, she said, social media posts, Rami Abbasisa saying one thing, Salah tweeting another thing. There's no need for it. Sort it all out behind the scenes, respectfully, which is what he deserves, and of course what the club deserves. So that is pretty much it from today's news roundup. Now... We will be live tonight at half past eight. We did ask you guys uh, yesterday whether you prefer us to come on early with the Champions League semi-final being on, but you guys, like me, are creatures of habit, so you asked us to come back on at half past eight, and we will. So that is all of today's news, my friends. Again, just a reminder, the Dublin and Belfast shows are on sale. You can use that link in the description or the QR code on the screen to get yourselves over to Ticketmaster. Again, thank you for a fantastic season. We're coming to the end of it now, but the channel has once again taken another step step forward our community continues to grow and we are so proud of everybody involved with it from the guys in the background to moderators and of course to you guys all watching thank you so much for your continued support it really means a lot to me personally and i know to the rest of the team as well so i will catch up with you at half past eight tonight my friends thank you for watching we'll talk soon bye bye